Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over what you should be doing with your coins right now in Madden 21. Now, guys, we're in a weird time period of Mutt. We're overdue for most feared. But I have to imagine it's like super soon, like within days at this point, unless we're not getting most feared this year, which doesn't make sense. And the only way they could even justify that is if they're going crazy on next gen. Now, here's the thing. I still don't know if next gen is going to be a carry on of Mutt and like, and before you guys comment, yes, I know everything transfers over, but I'm not sure if it's going to be like a carry on of Mutt, like just this Mutt with better graphics on the same format, just on a better console. Or it's gonna be like Xbox 360 to Xbox One where everything transferred, but it was an entirely new Madden for the most part. Like the look, the way things felt, new solos, like it was always like playing a new game. Now I don't know if that's the sense. Now if that's the case, it would make a lot more sense for some of the lack of stuff we have now. Like, we've had a lot of content, but, like we've been lacking gameplay stuff, like house rules, new implemented stuff. Like it would make sense in that aspect, but I'm not sure yet. But we have a lot of stuff coming in the near future, so that's why I'm saying it's best to stack up on coins. As well as, guys, quick tip, if you are getting the next-gen consoles and they do end up doing a transfer system like they did in the 360, where you could transfer cards over and stuff, I don't know if I'd do that. I'd probably, I'd probably end up just getting a coin count, and if the coins transfer over, keep the coins. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm just saying. But anyways, moving on, guys. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that naughty bell, boys, and join the family. As well as for today's Poodle Squad shout out, if you want to be shouted out, like the video, turn on the naughty bell, and of course, comment down below Poodle Squad. And for today's shout out, we got the Guitarist Films. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support. Again, guys, all you want to do, follow those, follow those rules down there, and you can easily be entered for next time. Now, if you guys need coins or anything else to pick up, if you guys want your solos grinding, which is a new feature of Art Reserve down below, use code Poodle at checkout. You get 15% off solo grinding, cards, coins, training, and everything else. Take advantage. But let's head on over, guys. Here's the thing that I've been doing. Go through your binder and see what's overpriced right now because, of course, when we go into new promos, here's what's going to happen. Players that are already overpriced aren't going to last that long. And if this new promo, guys, I don't know if you've seen this before, like Isaiah Simmons, right? 300K. Super overpriced, but super good. The second I knew anything new came out, he didn't just go back to normal. Like an 87 overall card didn't just go from 300K to like a 200k or like a little bit down he went down to where he should have been from the beginning like 100k like he skyrocketed down like a 200k loss and that's kind of the case with a lot of cards so if you i would like what i was doing this week i've been going through my binder and skimming and getting cards off the top that i know are too like too overpriced so like miles gear super Star mvp was like 170 the other day so i was like you know what he shouldn't be that price anymore that's gonna come down we have better ends in the game sell him off uh, Marvin Harrison went back up to like 160, not Marvin Harrison, uh, Reggie went up to like 160, 170 again, so I was like, no, I'm going to sell that because really, I've seen him for around 120, 130, and I've seen just a few cards, oh, Jimmy Graham went up to 315k again when the, the power-ups came out, and again, I got that for like 245, so I was like, another steal, just really be going through and checking out, so like, a lot of cards are going back up in price, now for the 50, the only issue with the 50 ones is that the prices vary from week to week as we do get the new ones, so one good example here, let's see where DRC said in that. So obviously DRC is the best cornerback, but he's over half a million coins. And I've seen him for as low as 300k. So you can take that as you will, but maybe it's best to collect on your half million coins and then just wait until the next 50 and see if they come down in value again. And then go ahead and pick them up. Because quite honestly, it's half a million coins worth it for DRC. If you're a competitive weekend league guy, probably. But if you're financially, you know, if you're thinking from like a financial standpoint, you're not that great anyways, might as well just take your coins and get them back when it's cheaper. Some guys are cheap, like Patrick Will is still a fine price. Like the newest ones seem to be a decent price. Like Brett Favre, who was going for like 220. Now again, I never thought two, I always thought 220 was too low. I always thought he'd be more of a 300k kind of guy, anyways. But moving on from that, guys, the legends as well. Now the legends actually are usually fine. They usually find a pretty even median. Now honestly, I think these are fine price. Like I don't think these are like, crazy overpriced for the new legends. Ricky Jackson, not not too overpriced. Uh, I think the legends are in a fine state. Like, you don't have to sell anything. Like forcefully sell now. Mean Joe Green and a few of those guys, maybe because I feel like we had a pretty good defensive line stuff during most feared if we do end up getting it. But for the most part, guys, when you have a new promo like that coming, you really want to take off the top. I'm telling you guys, like you can keep the core stuff, right? Like Michael Vick, Lamar Jackson, like Tyree Kills, those guys you can keep them because you're gonna have them most of the year, Aaron Donald. But those guys like let's say Edron James, you just picked up just for some fun this weekend, you're like, okay, so I'm not he's not gonna be a long-term running back, but he's fun. Do not hold on to those guys because those guys end up costing you more in just reduction and loss of value. As well as guys, 
Make sure you get another solo zone to keep the coin stack coming up as well as you guys keep building. Now, I have my 1.7 sitting here with the rest of my team. Now, my thing is here, I'm going to save that. I know most of you guys are going to introduce some big banger set that I'm going to want to do and include some masks that I'm going to want to get and maybe even include some packs I may want to open. So, I'm having that just sitting there ready for that. And then, of course, spend it here, place them here, get it back. So, it's still foreign. But again, money makes money. Same thing with Madden. So, if you go into a new promo with no coins, it's devastating. And to give you guys like a little format for why going to a new promo with no coins is devastating is this. So, your, your team was worth this much before Mosphere dropped. Right? So, you can only afford this much. So, let's say the only way you can get cards is to sell a few cards off. Right? So, let's say you could sell your Brett Favre, who's your favorite quarterback, for like 300k. And you could use that to get the new Mosphere players. Right? He would be an even swap. Him for the master sell, let's say. Right? So, then... Well, most of your drops, because of value dropping, now your team's worth this much. So now, you have to sell two to three players, right? Because instead of Brett Favre being 30k, it's 200k. But you need 400k, let's say, right? So you have to sell two players to afford four you want. Maybe even three if you want a second player. So, you really have to kill your team. I'm just telling you guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's the worst feeling when you know that Brett Favre was worth one of the highest cards, you know, price, and then you could have gotten any other card with it, and now he's only worth half a card. So you got to sell two people, and it's like, wow, if I just sold them... But you guys get that. So I'm just saying, be on top of that. Never let your binder rot. Never let players just sit there. Like, if you're not playing, like, if this week you're like, I'm not playing Weekend League this week. I'm taking a little break till next gen, maybe. Like, I'm playing, I'm grinding, but I'm really not focusing on Weekend League maybe till next gen in, like, two, three weeks. Or something just like, don't let cards sit there. Letting cards sit there is the worst thing you can do, which is why I kept my staples. Isaiah Simmons actually did end up keeping, guys, because, again, if you, go, if you bought Isaiah Simmons for 300k like I did, it's very tough to sell him for 100k. And he maybe will probably get a power up in the near future and end up having some really great user card. Now in here, there are, there are some imposters among this list as well. Now, team of the week is one of the weird ones where I do see some prices still a little overpriced that you could take advantage of like getting your coins back up on. Like Odell Beckham, definitely if you have him for 200k, probably sell him. Randall Cunningham, there's just a few guys here. I don't think any of these team of the week players are quite overpowered, except for Claypool. He's really good, but he doesn't have a power up, which hurts him as well. And then as far as backing out of that part, like just getting past that, go through your binder, see if you have any of those core leads. Some core leads are going for very expensive prices right now, and they won't stay like that. I promise those core leads will not stay like that. We're going to get to a point where core leads are decimated, and then they're just a card on the market. I'm telling you, if you have them, get rid of them. Unless, let's say it's Zach Martin, and you know Zach Martin's going to get a team of the year or something, and you want to keep him all year. That's fine. But only if, if and only if that's the case. Oh, make sure you're playing your Derwin Dar James versus the world as well. Because of course you want to be staying in touch with getting your free player. I already have my Jalen Ramsey, but if you want to get the free 97 Derwin in February, make sure you're still checking them out. But guys, as far as that goes, so pretty much my best advice here is keep skimming the top of the binder, making sure you're keeping up to date. Just keep reloading, like sell off, pick up, sell off, pick up. Make sure you're not getting any loss of value there. Uh, clean out some of the lower stuff in the binder, like the lower core leech up just sitting there. You'd be surprised. I find some guys that go for a lot of prices. Uh, team of the week cards, low team of the week cards were going for a lot last week. Not sure if they still are. Like the 82, 83s. Make sure you're checking those out as well. And just don't do anything dumb. Don't spend my, don't don't spend your coins on packs this week, guys. Save the coins. Don't waste them. Be ready. Now again, most feared news may be coming out again as of today. But remember, I record this video before the content video. So if the, if it does come out, don't kill me. Again, hopefully I do an, uh, reveal something about most feared today. But I've been waiting. But again, I'm assuming if it was to come out this week, it would have to come out early this week. I don't think it would last till Friday. Like, that'd be ridiculous if we don't get the most free promos like the 24th. I don't even know. I don't even know how they'd even end up doing something like that on the 23rd. But guys, that's it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, smash the like button down below. below. Subscribe. Come join the family. And of course, for the Poodle Squad shout out, if you want to be shouted out, like the video, comment down below, Poodle Squad, turn the noti bell. If you guys need coins, your solo is grinded, you can get to maximum level 60 super fast and get all of the... Uh, benefits and coins that come with it as well as you can get training and cards on there use code poodle for an additional 15% off link will be down below in the description thanks so much for watching i'm out peace